My name is Stanislav Klek. I'm a general surgeon and oncology surgeon. I come from Poland, from Stanley Dadig Memorial Hospital in Skavina. And apart from my professional functions, I'm also uh, the coordinator from the second biggest Polish uh, home parental nutrition center. Uh, today we're going to talk about challenges in home parental nutrition. Home parental nutrition is a life-saving procedure for those patients with chronic intestinal failure, meaning type 2 or type 3 chronic intestinal failure. And you may wonder why home parental nutrition can be challenging, but the truth is that for those patients who have to receive parental nutrition for a long time period, meaning more than one year, not just a few weeks or a few months, there are some real problems that can affect their lives and the outcome of the therapy. Those are our challenges. Uh, among them, we can distinguish two groups, catheter relation problems, so access relation related problems, or metabolic complications. Of course, there are several minor uh, problems, but those are really easily handled. Those major problems, meaning the catheter ones and the metabolic ones, are, there are those real challenges. Uh, of course, uh, catheters related sepsis is the most um, dangerous complication of the catheter related problems. And the research showed there are several methods that we can use to reduce the risk of catheter infection, but the most important, undoubtedly most important, is the strict adherence to hand washing techniques, so antiseptics. And um, of course, there are several other methods like taurolidin lock, uh, like the special hubs or iodine impregnated hubs, needleless uh, hubs, but those are of less uh, lower importance to the problem. Among metabolic complications, there are four and five that we, that we, have, that we have real problem with. Those are parenteral uh, nutrition-associated liver disease, undoubtedly the most important problem, the biggest problem. Also, gallbladder gold stones, metabolic bone disease, kidney failure, and, and other of lower importance. Uh, metabolic complications affect those patients who received parental nutrition for more than one or two years. Uh, for example, gallbladder stones occur in half of those patients who in receiving parental nutrition for more than two years. Actually, half of the population is exposed to this risk, but it does not mean that we should operate on them on the very beginning of the therapy. We should treat them as any other patient. Uh, kidney problems are mostly related to these episodes of dehydration. So the best way to avoid those complications is just to avoid rehydration, and we can do this very easily by monitoring urine sodium, which is a very good marker for uh, early dehydration. Regarding metabolic bone disease, um, this is a problem that occurs more often now because the population is going to getting older and older. So we have to pay special attention to, of course, parenteral nutrition regime, but also vitamin D delivery, calcium delivery, and avoiding of all those detrimental factors as a, the lack of sun exposure in our patients. And finally, we have the problem with liver. This is the parenteral nutrition related or associated liver disease. And this is the most dangerous problem, complication of our, for our patient. To avoid it, we have to remember that we have to restore all our di oral diet whenever possible. We have to avoid the excess of carbohydrates and lipids in our nutrition and we have to monitor our patients very carefully. 